he's gonna kill or that's a bad <laughs> I was gonna say he's gonna kill me if I don't tell this story but that's a, that's a bad uh, way to bring it in Danton's first night at uh, your house he wanted me to bring it up he was wearing your boxers eating no, I was you wearing were my wearing boxers. Yours. You were wearing you your were boxers. Wearing his boxers. Eating, uh... well, he, a lot of things were different to dance when he got out. <laughs> like, like sitting to the average guy, <laughs> I would so say true. this. If you're the average guy, you you come home, you, you get down, down into your hockey underwear, right? Yeah. You throw a t-shirt on, yeah. and you make a goddamn bacon sandwich <laughs> i don't know what they do when they're in an armored cafeteria yeah, but and maybe you don't wear your one. underwear there and maybe a bacon sandwich is worth a million dollars or 50 cigarettes but <laughs> mike don't go there but <laughs> he goes everything was a little different for mike when, you know what i mean because when you first get out it's oh. when you're in solitary confinement it's like you don't even remember bacon well the best you know? the, the best one on dance was we were up in the nationals there's two things uh, justin munden had a breakaway could have ended it all Killing a penalty, blocks a shot, eh? you know, yeah, blocks a shot, rewarded. breakaway goes down, goes to shoot it, jumps over a stick. So he goes in to the dressing room <sighs> into double overtime. Justin Munden, again, leader throughout of all mm. leaders, says, guys, and he's breathing hard, he goes, if you do get a breakaway anytime during this next overtime, don't try that trick shot. He's he's right on to it. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's another sign that before the game, we all got there. And, and uh, you know, Chris McDonald was our trainer. He did a great job. He got us all set. The room was all up here. And here's a sign that says, six months ago today, I was in a federal prison, you know, and my life was going nowhere and, you know, this and that. And a lot of things went through my mind. But you guys, you know came and got me you picked me up and made me feel something special now we're here and this and that and you know they love you guys mike danton well Ran mark rancourt's in you know just kind of taping a stick cool guy you know he's pretty laid back and he just quietly says to the team that's actually really really nice dance and uh, i don't think he necessarily had to sign it for us though <laughs> we, we knew. this is before the game so he kind of had this feeling like it, you know things were pretty loose anyways you didn't have to sign you it. didn't have to sign it so we, that's before the championship game yeah yeah it was what a way to like because uh, when we were you were talking about earlier how you have to be a little bit nuts or a little bit crazy to make it that was going to be my segue into the dance thing but now that we're here like what a incredible small subtle way to like bring the boys together and kind of loosen the lo loosen the room a bit and it's like the fact that he made a joke about it and he was the the chill guy right he's like i don't think you had to sign it dance like yeah. you were the only guy in that scenario right but yeah he, i remember him telling us that that the SMU that year was one of the the big like changes for him and it was a positive stepping stone i mean christ think about it every i remember when he scored his first goal with you guys there was people still game. screaming at him 4500 people the that place was oh, juiced fuck. yeah but he it was like people were crying people were chirping him still people were loving him all of a sudden people's minds changed with him but he said that that was a big big year and he couldn't thank like your guys' group enough oh. and you in particular he was yeah, thanking you left right and center. you know I, it wasn't again i said it wasn't mine i mean at that point i didn't have the confidence there that's there's a there's a decimal point i thought people would be all over me about it and i was kind of a bit weak and my dad you know again he's suffering but from uh, alzheimer's my dad was a senior member of the national pro board he's he, he's he's a minister you know, wow. the first thing he did, and then he got into it. And I can remember my dad just saying, you know, some, <laughs> you, how can you even question this process? That's not how you were raised. Like, you know, it's so, you know, and, he, and then they said, well, what about not playing hockey? You know, what if I took him, but he didn't play hockey? And uh, that was my suggestion, because that's what people said, right? My dad said, w w I never see, you know, an artist, say, that goes to prison for something, does some time. I don't see them take his, his his pencils away from him when he gets out. Wow. You're taking the one thing that he loves that can keep him calm and and and, and, and on the right he path. can feel feel important about or feel special mm -hmm. away from him. So that that wasn't even an option at that point. And then it was really it was Mark Rancourt and the rest of the team. So I don't want to miss any names, but Mark Rancourt led. Uh, and he didn't make the decisions. He led. He gave the positives. He gave all the things and the team. And the team came to me. So I was, I'll be honest. I was a little ashamed that I didn't have the ability to come right out because I even right. had a couple ex-alumni you know I wouldn't give that you know piece of crap this this yeah. and this and I go well I guess my question and to everybody was if I give this what you call a piece of crap a chance if he makes it awesome you if he like doesn't it. in the sch scheme of things well, what's the big deal I mean it's not he's not gonna attempt to murder someone again you know what I mean yeah he's, he, he, so what is the risk here 
You know, and if it was anybody else's kid, you'd be begging for that opportunity. Uh -huh. But because it's not their kid, they just want to dump nothing, on everything, right? right? So it's, and I look at it. I mean, I I didn't do anything to the level of that, but I mean, I was a handful more for my parents. My brother, I hope he's listening, was way worse than I was. <laughs> so you know, some of we got caught or got in trouble with the law or something like that. You know, does that mean that we don't get a second chance? We well, don't get anything. Thing. You know, whatever. Yeah. And good you for you. Your you know, time. So good uh, for you. Yeah.